Brian Koberger is under investigation for further homicides, just months after the Idaho slayings. Accused quadruple killer Brian Koberger is being investigated by Pennsylvania police after his potential involvement in other outstanding homicides. The 28-year-old PhD student is accused of stabbing to death four Idaho undergrads in their off-campus home in a crime that rocked the nation. If confirmed that authorities are investigating Koberger over other unsolved murders, the case against him could expand significantly. Chris Cuomo said, Tonight I can report to you exclusively that authorities in Pennsylvania, where he was arrested, are investigating potential involvement in other outstanding homicides. The news was confirmed by Mark Geragos, a trial attorney, who told Cuomo, Yes, I have heard similar, and not just in this case, but virtually every high-profile case that is a circumstantial evidence murder case. You almost inevitably hear of others' unsolved murders, and law enforcement looks to see if they can link whoever the suspect is. Asked why this would be, Geragos replied, Well, for one thing, I suppose it fills a vacuum. Why did somebody do this when you don't have a motive? That is the most obvious explanation, and also the cynic in me, the defence lawyer in me, suspects it's a way to dirty somebody up. Cuomo then asked former FBI agent Jennifer Coffindaffer what sort of things the police would be looking for. She replied, well, specifically, if they have a case which fits the modus operandi that matches what happened in Idaho. For instance, is the target a young, beautiful co-ed? Was the weapon of choice a knife? Was the arrival and departure of the individual in a vehicle as opposed to being dropped off or by foot? Was the time chosen at this three o'clock or four o'clock time frame? After an almost seven-week investigation, police arrested Brian Koberger at his parents' home in Pennsylvania in December. The criminology graduate and PhD student from Washington State University is accused of stabbing to death Kaylee Goncalves, Madison Mogan, Zana Canodal and her boyfriend Ethan Chapin on November 13th. Police said Koberger has no known prior criminal record. Former CIA and FBI agent Tracy Walder said authorities now have Koberger's DNA and can examine national crime databases and look for crimes with similar patterns to the Idaho slayings. She told the news, I think the fact he may have committed other crimes is perhaps not surprising. Miss Walder also pointed to Koberger's erratic and sexist behaviour prior to his arrest and his hatred towards women. The probable cause affidavit used to justify Koberger's arrest said phone records indicated he had been near the student's Moscow house on at least 12 occasions prior to the murders. DNA that linked him to the scene was also recovered from a knife sheath left near one of the student's bodies. Koberger, who has not yet entered a plea to four counts of murder and one of felony burglary, is expected back in court on June 26th. What are your thoughts about this update? Do you believe that Koberger may have been involved in other crimes and murders prior to the Idaho slayings? Or do you think that perhaps the police are just trying to find anything they can to show he has extra guilt in preparation for his court date in June? I'd be very interested to know what your thoughts are on this topic, so please do leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to have further updates, then please do subscribe to the channel. It really does mean the world to me. Until next time, take care, friends.